we continue driving north on the Dalton Highway. This is part 5 of our Alaska adventure. If you want to watch the previous 4 installments, they are available in your favorite online video player, like YouTube, Vimeo, the iTunes Store, and the video blog is travelingrobert.com. From Dusseldorf, Germany, the Grand Canyon, Disney World. We have stopped at the Middle Fork Coyucook River 3 to take a break. There are so many rivers in this area and creeks and all that that apparently they started to use numbers instead of individual names. We also stop to enjoy our breathtaking view of the Sukukpak mountain and to get our feet wet in the frigid water. The Okukuk River. And now I'll cross to the southern shore of this um, creek. <laughs> We continue due north on the Dalton. We are now at the site of the northernmost spruce tree right here on the Dalton Highway. Due to the weather, there are virtually no trees north of this point. Not enough uh, sunlight for photosynthesis, I guess. Uh, the 273-year-old tree was killed by a vandal in 2004. Some people, I tell you. From this point on, the only way is up, all the way to the Aragon Pass, the highest point in the highway. We are on the Chandler Shelf in the North Brooks Range. We are approaching a very hazardous area. In the winter, this is very dangerous due to the number of avalanches that occur on our trusted transportation. The DOT, Alaska's Department of Transportation, uh, they actually have artillery guns that they actually fire towards the mountains to produce avalanches. And that way they prevent spontaneous avalanches from happening and killing truckers. We finally see snow up close. Now here we are at the beginning of the Aragon Pass. We have almost reached the top of Aragon Pass. Rivers north of here flow north and south of here, well, south. The snow is right there, it's within walking distance. Unbelievable. And we keep going upwards. We encounter a family of Dell sheep. At the highest point in the Aragon Pass. For the first time in our trip, we see rather large animals. This is the baby Scared by the sound of our engine, they climb off their rocky cliff. This seemingly difficult task is daily life for the Dal sheep. They actually make it look easy. Sometimes it looks like they are on the verge of sliding down. And when you gotta go, you gotta go. And when you gotta eat, well, you find some grass. Indecisive of where to step next, it thinks about it for a second and then goes. This one is in the mood for some exercise, apparently. Can you? And this one was obviously really hungry. Look at this guy. Mm -hmm. That's where this red owl ship is raining slightly, so this is gonna be a quick shot of the Brooks Range at the Aragon Pass. Going back in. Still don't stall, so this bomb station with a 
Brooks Range behind us. We now enter the North Slope. Aragon River, just north of the Brooks Range, still with snow, and that's our car, the pipeline. We are headed to Galbraith Lake Camp for another quick pit stop. And in an effort to get close to the lake, uh, we go into these paths, but all we see are some people camping. Going through the tundra. I see some mountains to the east. And the Brooks Range. We have arrived to the tundra, land of permafrost and no large plants. This landscape is reminiscent of the Windows XP default wallpaper, don't you think? This is the tundra. This is our tours. Conditions deteriorate greatly in this area. That's a truck in front of us. Road conditions are bad. We haven't passed Happy Valley. As a C-3PO would say. What a desolate place this is. Some people actually cycle all the way up here. Like super ultra oversized. Yes, we encounter a very large oversized load. Is that a house? I don't know. Eventually we are allowed to pass. We are now approaching the northern plains, home to a large caribou herd. Yeah. One caribou crossing the road. They do have the right of way, by the way. These are the Franklin Bluffs, these rather interesting hills. Getting closer and closer to our destination, we can finally see it in the horizon, and after nearly 500 miles and over 14 hours, we have reached the end of the Dalton Highway, described as an anticlimactic dystopia by Lonely Planet and as a company town by Wiki Travel, I think they both may be right. But more of that in part 6, when we go all the way to the frigid waters of the Arctic Ocean. Stay tuned. We have arrived. Arctic Caribou in 8.54 p.m. <laughs> 